You say either. I say either. <laughs> you say neither. I say neither. Oh my god. I kind of understood after you started singing. I was like, oh my god, that's right. Anyways, hello everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Bodacious Rant. Uh, this movie has, um, we're talking tonight about a movie that has actually quickly gone to pretty anticipated for me, at least this week. It's definitely, I know, a big one a lot of people have been wanting for the last few months, at least for the year. And this is Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. Yeah. Starring the amazing Tom Hardy, um, Michelle Williams, Woody Harrelson, Naomi Harris, that one guy from, like, Boardwalk Empire and Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, Stephen Graham. Is that his name? He's also in Peaky Blinders, right? Um, I don't know. Oh, I thought he was. Anyways, yes, this is the sequel to 2019's Venom. 2019 or 18? Do you remember? Um, I think it's 18. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not good with dates, okay? (laughs) But anyways, that one, so this, the sequel is directed by Andy Serkis, you know, the Venom 2, and the original one was directed by Ruben Fleischer, and that was uh, just about how Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock and Venom finally came together. Um, and for me, Burn, I don't know how you felt about it. I personally was like, this isn't that great. I was a little, very disappointed by it. Um, partially just because I expected Venom to be a much more darker film, a little more on the serious side. Mm. And so that's why I didn't care for some of the comedy in that one. But also just, it didn't work. Like I, I rewatched it recently before this movie coming out and I was like, it still doesn't work that well. It's, it's just it's just weird. Like the action was cool and Venom looks great, but overall I'm like this is just not not a great intro for Venom. Um, but what what do you think about it before I get into my thoughts about this new one? Yeah, I mean uh, I do I do agree with you except for the fact that I think the first one is a little bit of a guilty pleasure for me. Um, okay. And it's really only due to the Venom and Eddie Brock. You know Tom Hardy's dual role in in that movie. I think that aspect of the movie worked really well for me but unfortunately that movie suffered from what i think was just like like tonal inconsistencies like you said like the movie like tried to be like it took itself like really seriously yet the character of of eddie and venom was just kind of like wacky and weird and i really liked the, the that interpretation of the of the character of venom being a little bit more of like a goofball like you know like a bit of a toddler type personality but it just didn't fit in like the overall movie so that was like inconsistent and then there's also the fact that i felt like that movie was just kind of like really like overwritten you know where it was just like it kind of went on too long like there were plot lines that just i didn't care about and didn't really make sense and the villains were just kind of like whatever you know no 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 disrespect to um riz ahmed you know he's a great he's a great performer it's just that character was just you know, he's just a rich guy who's also a bad guy. And it's like, okay, that's that's really all they gave him. So the overall package was kind of like whatever. Uh, but the, the central performances of, uh, of Tom Hardy were, you know, him, him playing Eddie and him playing Venom, that, that really worked for me. So that's kind of what, like, gave me the entertainment factor, you know, from the first movie. I'm a Tom Hardy fan, so I, mm-hmm. and I liked parts of Eddie Brock. I just also, my thing with Venom being totally inconsistent, Venom is not necessarily a good guy still, but then to try to paint him off a little bit like that. And it just, like I said, the first one didn't work for me. It just was not something I really raved about. I was very disappointed by it. I am glad to say I was not disappointed by this one. Mm -hmm. Again, I went into it with low expectations because I'm like, I've been seeing some bad reviews here and there. And I thought, eh, let let me just go into this empty-minded. I want to really see how this movie's going to be. And wow, I was, again, surprised by it. It is hilarious. Action was great. Uh, Character design, especially for Carnage, was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I actually got to see the final fight this time because it wasn't in on a dark bridge in the middle of the night with characters (laughs) that are basically black two black characters. characters. (laughs) Yeah, where it's like the black on black background. It's just like, I can't see anything. (laughs) Yeah, definitely did not do a great contrast with that one. But this one, it's Andy Serkis succeeded where Ruben Fleischer didn't. You ha- if you're going to be wacky with Tom Hardy and Venom like you said the last one was, go all out with it. Mm-hmm. Make this more of a comedic and much more of a, a fantastical film where like don't, it's not going to be too serious. It's not going to try and justify everything. It's literally having fun with it. I got that vibe a lot more, especially with Tom Hardy's performance. Uh, him and, and then him voicing Venom again. Uh, he had a lot better dialogue with Venom this time around. The mm-hmm. jokes landed for me. And I, I think the only thing that kind of 
didn't help this was the rating. I think this should have been a rated R movie just because it's very much like a Deadpool comedy. Um, just not fourth wall breaking, but it still was like it. They were funny stuff and it was very violent. But because it was PG-13, we didn't really get the ex- the scope of that. Mm-hmm. So I think that's just kind of like it just didn't really bring any. I, I think it didn't elevate the action as much as it should have. And like some of the really violent scenes, you know what I mean? For sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm I'm right there with you. The, this movie, I was thoroughly entertained by. Like, as you said, they really leaned into what worked from the first movie, which I think generally worked for most people, which was the Eddie-Venom uh, relationship. And again, Tom Harding's really zany performance. So, that like they, like you said, if they're going to go for that, then lean right into it. And they, and they absolutely did in this one. Like, they, they really... <laughs> like, this movie is essentially... Uh, a romantic comedy <laughs> like for the majority yeah. of the movie i think so i think you know people should uh, very uh very, you know set their expectations to kind of uh, expect that as opposed to what we got from the first movie which was very totally different uh but <laughs> it's almost like ted how you like in the first ted he meets the love of his life second one it's about him and his marriage it's like yeah the eddie met venom and Venom and Eddie are really going at it this time around, like trying to find their vibe with each other. It was like, oh my god, it was so great. It's yeah. just, it's like, what is the matter with both? There are a couple scenes that I'm like, what the fuck? You guys are a bunch of children. You guys just can't function with. Them. They're they're just having a little bit of a lovers' quarrel, you know. And then we get to see that storyline play out, which was absolutely fantastic. It was it wasn't at all what I was expecting, you know, going in, and especially like judging from the trailers. But uh, but yeah, I was I was thoroughly like entertained by that and was very surprised that they went there. Uh, and as you said, you know the uh, Andy Circus, you really do feel his hand in the direction in this, like him coming from you know working with you know motion capture and you know this also having a better idea of like this dual performance, you know his performance with as Gollum and Smeagol, you know he kind of like and even Caesar. Yeah, and, and Caesar as well, but uh, but more so the the Gollum and Smeagol aspect where, you know, it's this character, this, this kind of like duality of, of of the characters and, you know, him, like, like uh, Tom Hardy and uh, and Venom, you know, he's in his head, so he's like, kind of has those similar like Gollum Smeagol moments, and I thought, um, you know, Andy Serkis really punched that up. And also, you know, just like, like, like you said, like his... Uh, his experience with uh with motion capture and special effects like he really knows how to like shoot these characters which was you know a big complaint as you said of the last movie where it's just kind of like okay i'm I'm losing what's going on screen between these two characters because they didn't like plan i guess correctly with you know these two dark characters on a dark background here you know the colors are a little bit more vibrant uh, you know, the, the aspect ratio is a lot fuller, you know, it has that, like IMAX ratio. So you get to like see these giant characters on screen and when they clash, you can like tell what's going on. So Andy Serkis, I think his hand in this movie really lent itself to to it being more enjoyable. And like, like I said, you know, being able to see everything for what it is. Yeah, Andy Serkis, keep keep him coming, man. You're, you're a great actor. Even one of my favorite, he's such an underrated person in hollywood like everybody all his fans love him but it's like he never gets any love from like critics or the awards or anything like that it's like damn it you academy bastard you need to be better (laughs) give him an award this guy deserves it anyways uh my rating for this one is uh as much as i want to rate it high i'm gonna be objective and i'm gonna say no it was three out of five the first one i would definitely give a two out of five just because i liked venom and tom hardy however the rest of the movie did not work for me this one improved upon it but again there's still a couple things i just thought could have been done a little bit better some things that definitely took me out of it Mm -hmm. and also again just being nitpicky so that's why i'm not giving this like perfect rating like there are still better superhero movies out this year however this one is definitely up there with them but so that's why i'm stick with three out of five yeah yeah i'm 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 uh I'm right there with you, like on the on the first one where that one was like a two out of five for me, and this one, you know, is is an improvement on that one. So, uh, I think everybody this time around, they everyone knew the assignment. You know, everyone was like, okay, we we know what kind of movie we want to make this time around. Everyone was like in on the joke. It seemed like this time, you know, everyone has like their little bit of like zaniness going on too. So it was like it all just felt like very cohesive this time around. And and like you said, it's not a, it's not a perfect movie. There are like issues here and there with it. Some that I really can't get into because they would be like spoilers. 
but uh but yeah this this movie it, overall it worked for me um uh, like you said there are the, the movie a lot of the movies that came out the superhero movies in particular that came out this year are better than this one but i think this one i was laughing at <laughs> you know the most out of all those movies that came out and i was very very much entertained by it so it's a three out of five for me too for sure. And everybody, like I said, this is our non-spoiler review, so keep an eye out for our spoiler review coming up soon. Uh, where we're going to dive into some of our favorite scenes and favorite moments, and then some of the things that irked us to where, you know, it was just like, damn, that could have been done a little bit better. But, yeah, until then, stay bodacious, keep on rating, go see this movie. Definitely worth the IMAX and Dolby ticket. Um, and above all, I'll see you later. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's 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 a definitely recommend for me. You know, the movie's not not too long. You know, basically like an hour and a half. So it's it's very much a you know you go in, have fun, and and you get out. And the post credit scene is very much worth the price of admission. So go check it out just for that. I would say. That's right. I, I don't want to spoil it so much. I forgot to talk about the mid credit scene. <laughs> so now, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> <laughs>